tell you I was driving down the street and I saw one of my childhood favorite cars just sitting here lounging in the parking lot so what's the first thing I do I pull immediately over and had to come take a look at it <laughs> now it's time for y'all to see it too all right ladies and gentlemen and here it is and if you're not familiar with what this is it's a DeLorean, a.k.a. the Back to the Future car. When I tell you as a child, I just knew I was going to own this car one day. This car is a rare find, a true phenomenal beast. I'm looking for the flux capacitor and to see if it can get up to 88 miles an hour with a bolt of lightning. Let's just take a look around it. Man, I don't know who the owner is. I just saw this car just happen to be sitting in the middle of the parking lot. I don't know if the owner is going to come out soon. And I'm trying to give it to you guys in the best light. I know what we can do. Let's send the drone up and take a little better look at it. Now that the drone is in the air, let me give you a little history about the DMC DeLorean, which was brought to the American market between 1981 and 1983. Ultimately, the DeLorean is known for its gold wing doors and brushed stainless steel outer body panels. The sports car, unfortunately, was also known for its lack of power and performance. Though the production was short-lived, the DeLorean became widely known after it's featured as a time machine in the Back to the Future films. With the first production car completed on January 21, 1981, the design incorporated numerous minor revisions to the hood, wheels and interior before production ended in late December 1982. Shortly after DMC filed for bankruptcy and after a total production reached about 9,000 units. Despite the car having a reputation for poor build quality and an unsatisfactory driving experience, the DeLorean continues to have a strong following driven in part by its popularity in the Back to the Future franchise. Currently, 6,500 DeLoreans were estimated to still be on the road as of 2015. And luckily, we found one of them. Now a little more on the DeLorean's engine, which is a Peugeot Renault Volvo 2.85 liter single overhead cam V6 rated at 130 horsepower and 153 foot-pounds of torque. It also had the availability of two different transmissions, one being a five-speed manual and the other being a three-speed automatic, both with a final drive ratio of 3.44 to one. Now the owner of this vehicle, as you can see, showed up and is now a subscriber. So I'll be riding soon. See you then, peace. 